Hey YouTube, what's up? Dr. T here. Artificial Intelligence, a new series, now joins Live Coding, Hyperloop, Coding, SpaceX, Sophia Robot, and SingularityNet as topics we now cover. This post brings you part 12 of the Hyperloop series. The date is now June the 6th, 2017. Vision for Europe. At the Vision for Europe event, nine semi-finalist teams from Europe present proposed Hyperloop routes. Dutch Minister for Infrastructure and the European Environment st states that in the next 10 years we will see more changes in mobility than in the last 100 years the top opportunities to apply our technology. A large population, a mobile population. This is about transformational connectivity on a European scale. Change of transportation has been very, very slow for a very, very long time. And it takes teams and capabilities and big ideas to really go out and, and make it happen. If 300 kilometers becomes 30 minutes, where would you live? What would the role of your country be in terms of being a connectivity hub for the future. In the next 20 years, we will see more changes than we've seen in the last 100 years. Imagine boarding in Amsterdam, putting on a seatbelt like on a plane, arriving in the center of Groningen or Enschede or Maastricht 10 minutes later. This idea is real. It's happening now. It's 2017. The Hyperloop revolution has begun. Hyperloop One's vision for Europe comes into focus at the third Global Challenge Summit. In the next 10 years, we will see more changes in mobility than in the last 100. Now there's a statement we couldn't agree more with, and the words pack extra weight given by Speaker Dutch Minister for Infrastructure and the Environment who addressed European leaders and dignitaries on June the 6th in Amsterdam at Hyperloop One's Vision for Europe event. The minister knows what she's talking about, having led the Dutch government's efforts over the past eight years to revive its transport sector and set new standards in autonomous vehicles and smart mobility. Hyperloop could be a game changer said the minister. Fast, quiet, innovative, sustainable, and thanks to solar power, it could be the world's only net positive sustainable transport. The event today in Europe was our third Global Challenge Summit, following a standing room only Vision for India event in New Delhi in March, and a Vision for America event held in April in the US. You can watch the entire event below, followed, followed by a selection of routes. The focus for the June 6 Vision for Europe event was to showcase the region's nine semi-finalist routes in the Hyperloop One Global Challenge. The proposed high-speed corridors are in Germany, Estonia, Finland, Spain, Morocco, Corsica, Sardinia, the Netherlands, Poland, and three in the UK, Scotland to Wales, a North Arctic route connecting Glasgow to Liverpool via Manchester, and a North-South connector between London and Edinburgh. The routes in aggregate would connect more than 75 million people in 44 cities spanning 5,000 kilometers. We will be following up in the next two weeks with profiles and videos of each of the routes. Taken as a whole, the European and UK Global Challenge corridors advance the potential for Hyperloop 
to unify the European economy, increase the capacity of its strategic corridors, and offer next generation logistics to facilitate fast, reliable and clean movement of goods. In a panel discussion at the event, the CEO of Finland Chamber of Commerce talked up a Northern Europe circle line that would provide city to city connections in a loop touching Helsinki, the Baltics, Berlin, Copenhagen, Stockholm and Oslo. Speaking to a packed house at the Tobacco Theatre in central Amsterdam, exe executives for Hyperloop One brought European policymakers up to speed on our technology and the progress in the market. Hyperloop One is the only company in the world that has built a fully functional Hyperloop, the first new mode of transportation in more than a hundred years. We see Europe as a high potential market for Hyperloop as its leaders embrace new ideas of transportation and commit to big infrastructure projects no other region in the world, like no other region in the world. We completed the last section of our 500 meter dev loop test track in Nevada in April and are looking forward to our first public demonstration, Kitty Hawk, in the coming months, proving our technology works. The next step after that is to work with governments around the world, Europe included, to build a proof of operations facility where we can validate our system and win regulatory approval. At the Vision for Europe event, Minister Hagen talked up the potential for building a Hyperloop proof of operation facility in the Netherlands and called for regulatory approaches that could streamline the process for approving innovative forms of transportation that didn't fit into existing categories. There's a lot of work to do in the short term, but our long-term vision remains the same. To one day connect Europe and the world with a more efficient, greener, on-demand and faster mode of travel. I hope you're enjoying the series. This has been a great ride. Please don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you next time.